I'm good, thank you. How are you? Well, hello. I'm back. It's been a while since I uploaded here. I feel like I say that every time, but it actually has been a while. A lot has happened in my life and probably yours. Obviously we had Christmas and New Year, but we won't talk about that because we're in January. And um, who wants to talk about Christmas and New Year when we're already almost at the end of January? Not me. I hope you guys are well. Thank you for tuning into this video. As you can see, very excitingly, I had all my hair chopped off. So this is actually, oh, look at this dog. <laughs> I actually had my hair chopped off I think before Christmas now so it's actually grown um, quite a lot since I cut it. I'm loving being back on the shorter side of life. I feel like short hair is just for me. Um, so yeah so I had all my hair cut off. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Um, it wasn't as short as I've had it before but it's definitely... Um, Definitely on the shorter side so yeah i really like it if you are thinking about cutting your hair short just go for it because honestly it thickens it up it's just easier to style like this literally took me like no time with my ghds and um i can still get it up as well just about so i love short hair i'm just gonna say that um i'm crouching on the floor next to me washing but We'll just ignore that. <laughs> Since I last spoke to you, we um, did a round of IVF, um, which was crazy. Um, I'm, I didn't vlog my IVF journey just because it was the first time we'd ever done it. And I just wanted to be able to focus on the IVF itself and just not have to worry about updating a camera. Yeah, I just didn't feel like it felt right at the time. Um, but I found IVF a really positive experience and it's definitely something that I'm going to be speaking more about on here and definitely over on my Instagram. I've actually got some um, posts coming up about IVF so if you have any questions about IVF or infertility in general always leave them down below in the comments and I'll put them into a Q&A as well and keep an eye on my Instagram as well because I think I will be doing a Q&A very soon and um, that will involve um, some nurses and doctors to answer the questions which will be really really helpful so keep an eye on my instagram my instagram is i'm laura bradshaw and you can ask me questions sorry i'm just having to entertain this dog because i've just done a zoom call and he is so needy at the moment i think since christmas he's definitely a needy one so yes yeah, so anyone that's looking to do ivf at the moment or you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed by it all um i would just say take each day as it comes take each step as it comes for me ivf definitely was just like a step of like sequences it was like get through this part of ivf then get through that part of ivf get through the scans the egg collection the transfer and all that kind of stuff and i feel like by breaking it down into like little sections was definitely better for me to digest it so yeah, so let me know if you want to see some IVF stuff and maybe I'll do some videos. But what I will say is that compared to going through random miscarriages for five years, it definitely felt more positive and more controlled, which was a nice change. And my clinic were amazing and so helpful. <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, fingers crossed, staying hopeful, got some embryos frozen, which is the main thing. And um, in the meantime, I've got this little wriggly doggy. But yeah, he's very needy at the moment. So today I'm just having a little work from home day. Um, we're not doing much, it's Chris's birthday at the weekend. So we're gonna go for a nice little lunch to ZZ's tomorrow, which I'm so excited for. I haven't been out for lunch for so long, obviously because of COVID. We've been isolating a lot with the IVF. We didn't see any of our family over Christmas because if you get COVID, your IVF round can get canceled. So we obviously didn't want that to happen. Um, so we haven't really done a lot. So um, yeah, it'll be nice to go out for a nice dinner. I've also started a new hobby, which is very random. Brace yourselves. <laughs> Does anyone know what this could possibly be? I'll give you a little clue. It involves some thread. I've started cross stitch. Do you know what guys? I absolutely love cross stitching. This is my first little attempt at the cross stitch. I actually did a Britney Spears one over Christmas, which I'll show you. If anyone can tell me who these people are, let me know in the comments below. My favorite TV show in the world. So I'm still on loads of injections. These are blood thinning injections. You do those, um, well some people do those after um, the egg collection because they then want to obviously prepare your body for the next stages. So I'm still doing loads of injections. Look at these bruises. Can you see these? Look at them. Ooh. They are 
blood thinning injection bruises are not the one and i will say that the injections are fine actually i didn't actually feel they were that painful but the blood thinners are horrible <laughs> they are really really stingy but i knew that i knew that was going to come so i'm just going to make myself a little decaf coffee um i've been really really enjoying these little decaf packets from nescaf oh, i've only got one left these are so good and i might make chris a flat white one as well also since i last spoke to you guys i think i i don't know if i mentioned this but i have been so into gusto so if you don't know gusto is like a meal delivery subscription thing um, you don't have to subscribe to it you can just order it as and when as you can see i have had quite a lot of recipes now so these are all the recipes all gluten free that i have tried and i get to keep the recipe cards and make it so last night we had uh last night we had a curry this curry which was so nice this curry is amazing um this rice is a lot of kind of like asian inspired foods which as you can tell are like my all-time favorite this is my new favorite um kind of shepherd's pie this pork rice is amazing so there's loads of good recipes um, and i actually have a code i'm not working with this though anyone can upload a code for your friends and family but i actually have a code and um, that you can use if you want to try gusto that gives you 65 percent off your first box and then some money off your second and third box as well i think which makes it so much cheaper as well if you just wanted to give it a go and um, so i'll leave that link down below in case you wanted to give it a go maybe tonight when i do um the gusto i will show you we've got this one tonight a little chicken chicken number but yeah gluten free as well and they do all sorts of dietary requirements which i thought was really good so um if you're interested in gusto use the code i think i get a little bit of money off as well which is good it's like i help you you help me again not working with gusto but i really wish i was i love gusto so much um, and actually on recycling day when i take bernie out for a walk so many people have gusto boxes out for their recycling i didn't realize so we've got some things from loxy loxitan loxitane i don't know how to say it loxitan um this perfume got a bit bright there this perfume i'm so excited for because i love their perfumes oh my gosh let me spray this oh away from Bernie's food oh, oh my gosh that is beautiful so that's Herbe Parloxitan Sush Koshala I don't know if I pronounced that right but it smells very very fresh which is what I like about their perfumes they are so super super fresh and they always remind me of like spring summer that kind of time and obviously the packaging is so beautiful this would be a really nice um gift for like valentine's day or like um for your mum's birthday or mother's day when's mother's day not sure when that is and then we have some little bits from peep club which is an instant relief eye spray a treat not just treatment for dry eyes Ooh. This sounds amazing because I suffer really badly with dry eyes, especially because I wear glasses. If I take my glasses off and I don't have them on, then my eyes get really dry. So yeah, look, a little dry eye spray. I'll try that later and let you guys know what I think of that as well. Thank you to those brands for sending me those goodies. Very kind of them. Oh, closed you in the cupboard, sorry about that. I actually like having my coffee in a keep cup just because it makes me feel like I'm having a takeaway coffee, <laughs> even, even though I'm not. So this is my keep cup. You right, Ben? And then this is the little flat white. As you can see, guys, today my outfit is not very <laughs> inspirational. I had a Zoom call today really early, so I just popped on whatever I had on in my wardrobe. Bernie has decided he would like to be in the video. I groomed him the other day. He doesn't go to the groomer anymore. I do it myself. And we have fun, don't we? He's so needy at the moment. <laughs> He's such, such a needy little doggy at the 
moment. Is anyone else struggling with their dogs because of Christmas? We just sat on the sofa with him for like four weeks over Christmas and now he's like, where's my sofa time? I need my sofa time. Some chicken and sweet corn soup and oh my God, this is delightful. So I'm just at my desk. It's a few hours since I spoke to you. Um, I am actually, I mean, it's three o'clock. I'm dying to take my makeup off today. Does anyone else feel like sometimes the makeup just feels like a little bit heavy? I think because of like lockdown, I'm just not used to wearing makeup anymore. So when I do, even though I haven't actually got that much on and also I've got such big black circles under my eyes at the moment. If anyone knows of any like, I don't know, like, skincare brands or makeup brands that can cover these then let me know below i'm really having a struggle finding something that works it doesn't like cake up so let me know if you know of any and um, but i just wanted to show you my mascara that i'm wearing at the moment this is the urban decay perversion bigger blacker badder mascara i haven't actually noticed any fallout but maybe that is what that is i don't think it is because i've not noticed that before um but this mascara is amazing um let me see if i can focus look how long my lashes look and i'll show you in a minute when i take off my mascara the actual length of my lashes without anything on but can you see how long they are let me do like a little side on i hope you can see that but yeah it's a really good mascara it's quite a big brush like i do struggle to do the bottom lashes as you can see i've got some on my skin there but i actually don't mind that too much and um, but yeah it's just really really easy to kind of build up and actually you only really need a few um coats of it to actually notice a difference so yeah i'm really really enjoying that um when i do wear makeup because i'm going to be honest i don't really wear a lot of makeup at the moment oh, i know what you do and these are my lashes before that mascara. Well, actually, after, because I've just taken it off, but you know what I mean. I can't really figure out how to show you the best way. There you go. Look at that sunshine. Ah, oh, good morning. Hello, guys. It's the next day now. It's Friday. Um, and we're getting ready to go to... Zizi's for Chris's birthday shindig. It's just me and him, but you know, party for two. I'm just putting on my boots. I've tried today to dress really nicely and thought I'm going to wear something nice and something fashiony. And look at me, all in black. I just, for some reason at the moment, I'm just not very really inspired to wear anything colourful. And um, none of my jeans are like super comfy, and I just can't be doing with being uncomfortable at the moment. I'm not even sure if this necklace works coming out of this, this little thing. So yeah, all in all, it's one of those days where I'm wearing an all black outfit, not even gonna say sorry, because let's face it, thank God for black clothes. <laughs> so this is what I have on, like literally. How boring can you get? But I have this um, pillow neck dress, in case you were interested, which is from Amazon. Love this, have it in grey as well, but it has gone very bobbly, so I just had to debobble it. And then I've got these little boots from ASOS. I've never actually worn these, but I thought they looked quite cute, something a little bit different, and then I'm gonna pop on a tan coat. Anyway, I better go because I'm running late, so see you when we're eating some yummy food. I'm very excited because a Saint and Sophia order just came. They kindly sent me a few bits to try out. I've got a really classic white shirt. I've got some black trousers because I have a pair of trousers from this brand and I wear them so much. They've actually turned into like my round the house trousers because they are so comfortable. And then I have this really, really cute like knitted vest, which I thought would look really, really cute over the shirt. Um, so I'm gonna get these opened and steamed. And then when we're back today, I'll show them on and show you what they look like but i'm very excited this brand are you know they're kind of on the higher price point i guess but they are a really lovely quality brand that i have been looking at for a while so i'm very excited and very honored that they kindly sent me some bits to try <music> So 
so I'm back now. I've had a little freshen up of my hair and makeup and I thought I would show you the Satan and Sophia bits on. I've just popped them on and steamed them all so they're all nice and steamed and crease free. So this is the jumper, like tank jumper over the shirt, which I think looks so, so cute. This jumper is so warm and cuddly and just everything that you want in January. <laughs> um, and the shirt I love because it's really oversized. I'll take this off in a minute and show you as well. I've got it on with the trousers, however, I think the trousers... Um, look at Bernie where he's decided to sit. You just, you just chill. You just chill. Um, I feel like the trousers are maybe a little bit too baggy for me with this outfit because the top is quite baggy. So I'm going to pop some leggings on in a minute and show you what it might look like with leggings. Um, but overall, I love the kind of um, style of the shirt under the tank top. I feel like it's really flattering. I feel like it's very trendy. I feel like a fashionista right now. I don't usually go for shirts because I feel like I wore shirts so long in high school that they just remind me of high school and I'd probably put my hair up as well but um I just thought I'd show you though so let me try them on with leggings but these trousers they're super super comfortable I don't know if you can see the material they're kind of like a cotton jersey material and these are the kind of thing that I would just wear around the house as well but obviously you could wear these out these would look really nice with trainers especially my little Sketches which are down here. I feel like they would work really really well. They're super comfortable elasticated waist So good for eating out and things like that um, And to be honest for a pair of trousers like this they are so flattering So it's really hard to show you black trousers in a mirror But um, let's try some with leggings and see how this outfit looks with those So I've popped on this outfit with some leggings and I feel like it's much more flattering with the leggings um, and I've also popped on my Emu Ultra Minis, which I absolutely love. But yeah, just so you can see what this looks like. I feel like it's really cute. What do you guys think? I don't normally go for shirts, but maybe this could be a new me. But I'll show you it without the jumper as well. So this is the shirt on its own, which again is a really nice length. Covers up your bum when you've got leggings on, which is really nice. To be honest, I could probably like shoot weddings in this. I feel like it's really cute. As shirts go, this is probably my favourite white shirt I've ever tried on. It's a really lovely material and it's got really lovely gold buttons on it. So yeah, that's my little try on anyway. I put it on with my Emu Ultra Mini Boots. Do you know what guys? I love this trend. I actually got the Emu version and I really like them. They're just the same. They're £99 so they're a bit cheaper than the UGG version. Um, I've got them in black as you can see and also tan. They kindly um, sent me these for like a Valentine's gift. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for this kind of style but you can't find the um, UGG version at the moment, these are exactly the same pretty much and actually really, really comfy. The tan are my favourite and I probably wear those the most. Spray them with a suede spray, isn't that right, Bernie? Yes. So guys, I am going to finish the vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you will come back for my next one as well. I'm really excited to be back to YouTube this year and we've got loads and loads of content coming up. So that's really exciting. Hopefully my next video will be our bedroom reveal. We completely renovated our bedroom. It took quite a long time. We did it all on our own. Um, so that will be up hopefully next week. I've got loads of footage to shove in there for you. So that will be good. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked the video, give it a nice big thumbs up. So I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.